Today we're going to talk about raising tuition. At what rate do you want to raise the tuition rate? The short answer for me is incrementally in small bits and every year. Now, if you're one of those teachers who has held on to your tuition rate for years, then you have a dilemma. Do you uh, go up a little bit? Do you uh, make up the difference uh, in two years or three years or just exactly how are you going to handle that? Let me give you a quick non-musical example that will help you understand what your parents might feel if you go up uh, all at one time. Let's say you go get your hair cut and it's $35. It's been $35 for years. The next time you go, it's $45. What? She apologizes. Uh, she hasn't gone up in seven years and she apologizes, but this is the new rate. Well, how do you feel? Ripped off? My goodness, that's something like a 30% increase. How can she do that? What was she thinking? And then you go home and the dust settles and you quiet down a little bit and you get in thinking mode and you realize, man, I've had a bargain for two or three or four years. But that soon goes away and you're back to thinking, man, I'm getting ripped off. Wonder if I should go somewhere else. Well, probably everybody else is charging that rate too. But it's just hard not to feel like you've been, it's just not right. So, uh, just keep that in mind when you decide what you're going to do about making up the difference if you've not gone up for years. Now, what I like to do is go up every year, just a little bit. I go up in an even number. You can go up, you can decide to go up in your hourly rate, but if you do that, you know, and you're exact about it, you're going to end up with some, like, $142.53, you know, for the monthly tuition. And uh, that's, that, that doesn't really work. So uh, rather than raising the hourly rate, what I like to do is raise the monthly tuition rate, which is the bottom line for the parent. That's what they really care about. When they come to talk to you about piano lessons, and let's say they're convinced that you have the approach that they're looking for, you're the teacher for their child, and then, and then you talk about tuition. You talk about what, I don't talk about how much tuition it is for the whole year. I give them the, the tuition rate for the month because that's the way I collect it. You might collect it uh, by the semester, that's fine. But for those of us who collect by the month, I give them the monthly rate. So that's, that's really what they're interested in. How, how much is it going to affect my budget every month? So I start with that raising the tuition rate every, uh, that, that, that's charged every month. And that, in effect, of course, raises the hourly rate, which might end up you know, with uh, uh, some odd amount, which is okay because only I know how much the hourly rate is. <laughs> so what I do is get a piece of paper out and, and, and write down um, the hourly rate, and what year, you know, like coming up 20, 22, 23, uh, how much is it for uh, a 45 minute lesson? I've, I've set this, this paper up here for a 45 minute lesson. How much are they gonna pay per month for a 45 minute lesson? How many lessons am I teaching? So how much is that for the year? And how much is that going to be for the month? Um, I just made a little, um, this, this is kind of what I do. And I'm gonna take a picture of this and put it in the comments for those of you who are looking on Facebook. If you're not looking on Facebook, you might go to Facebook, look up quick tips for piano teachers and find this one and and uh, you, you can get the picture and save it and and then do whatever you want to with it uh, as, as something to, to think about. But I like to start with the uh, raising, not the hourly rate for me, but the monthly rate for them because it keeps it easy. And so I do uh, two or three dollars uh, every year. You know, I might uh, something might be um, well. Let's just say years ago. All right, years ago, because because uh, years ago it might have been ninety five dollars, and then I would go to ninety seven, and then it would be a hundred, and then a hundred and two, and a hundred and five, and a hundred and eight, and a hundred and ten. And of course, I'm much higher than that now. But it uh, just gives you an idea. Uh, 
there's no pushback on that. So there you go. That's an idea for how to handle raising the tuition rate.